Now to understand how a refrigerator or an air conditioner for that matter works, let's start with a simple analogy. I want you to think about the last time you put rubbing alcohol on your skin to clean a cut or a wound. Remember how cool your skin felt. That cooling sensation occurs because the alcohol evaporates very quickly. It has a low boiling point. It turns from a liquid into a vapor, and the phase change at that point requires heat, which it absorbs from your skin, and that is creating the cooling effect. Basically, that cooling effect that you feel is because the body heat is going into the material, which then evaporates. Now, what's happening is the alcohol goes on your skin, and the uh, atoms and molecules of your skin are jiggling and bumping into the alcohol, and they're giving energy to the alcohol. But because the alcohol can turn from a liquid to a vapor, as soon as the alcohol molecule gets a little bit of extra energy to vaporize, it detaches from the surface, literally floats away, and it goes off somewhere else into the air. It's still there, it's just in vapor form right there. So because the molecule of alcohol has absorbed energy from your body heat, and because it is sort of detached from the surface and now has flown away somewhere, it has taken that heat physically from your body. Think about heat being the thermal motion of things. Some of that energy from your body has then gone into an alcohol molecule, which has then left the surface of your body, it takes the energy away. That's why you actually feel cold, because the thermal energy of your skin has been transferred to some molecule that's now flying away somewhere else. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.